Hi everybody, I'm Jim Skelly. This is The Global Conversation. Um, I haven't been in touch with you for a little while now. A number of things have been uh, keeping me attentive to them, including a disastrous event with a couple of students, but um, nonetheless, I'm back. Uh, the other thing that's been bugging me, I have to tell you, is that um, I've been waiting for some good information that I could share with all of you. Well, uh, I haven't found any. So if you want to just end watching this video now, you know, I, I, I wouldn't be offended at all. I mean, I'm just, uh, as I've been saying to my students here in Derry, things just don't seem to be getting better. And there's a couple of major events that I want to bring your attention to. Um, uh, let me just go through these somewhat systematically with you. I'm very pleased, by the way, with most of the uh, Learning Circle initiatives. I noticed that uh, a number of you have done very well, and there's a couple of things I want to point out to some of you who are working on specific projects. Um, but le let me just uh, say, uh, um, um, there are a couple of issues that, uh, oh, oh, I need to give you an administrative point too. Um, that administrative point has to do with the final um, essay assignment and this differential um, uh, work for those of you at different institutions. But it has been posted on the website near the uh, top of the uh, uh, top of the course, uh, top of the web page, home web page. Um, so take a look at that. If anybody has any questions, please drop me or Jenna or anyone else uh, who's involved in coordinating the course a note. Uh, do take a look at that as soon as you can. Um, let me just say a couple of things, however, and, and see if I can't um, uh, get you focused on some things. I've been saying to my students here that I think we're in worse and worse trouble. Um, uh, we are um, pursuing a course of business as usual. I don't see anyone really changing anything. Most notably, you'll see this with regard to the climate change conference, which has just opened in Durban in South Africa today. Um, you should take a look at that. And uh, those of you who are working on the climate change learning circle project, uh, the, the two circles actually, please take a look at that. I'm going to post, of course, to you um, links to uh, various sites, but this is very, very important. And unfortunately, uh, we don't seem to be doing much uh, about it. There is a move on by some of the um, some of the people in, um, uh, shall we say, rich countries want to once again delay a binding agreement. Um, the fear, and it's a very concrete fear among scientists is that we will soon have massive melting of the tundra, the permafrost, in Siberia and in northern Canada. If that happens, the possibility is that climate change will not be able to be stopped or held in check or balanced or however you'd like to characterize it. Instead, we're going to be faced with extremes of temperature in a way that we have never experienced before, right? Um, and it'll be devastating. Millions of people displaced uh, and, and, and millions, if not more, um, killed. So we really have to start acting. And um, I, I really want to emphasize to you that you need to not just ask the question, what can I do? What you need to engage someplace close to where you're living and say, what are we doing to make our lives on this planet sustainable? Now, um, the uh, environment chief at the United Nations just uh, a week ago slammed uh, the plans by the world's richest nations to put off a global treaty on climate change until 2020. And he's saying that these proposals are very high risk. Um, 
And he's also saying that, that rather than this being one that's based on science, it's a political choice. And you see it around the fact that economies, number of economies, major economies in the world are stalemate, you know, stagnant. Um, and what's happening? Well, we have to have more economic growth, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Climate change is being pushed to the bottom of the agenda, and uh, you know, there's no attempt to revise the kinds of economic uh, structures that we have that would accord with a sustainable way of living on the planet. Um, so, the Durban Conference goes for the next two weeks. I urge you all regardless of whether that's your learning circle topic or not, I urge you all to pay careful attention to what's going on in Durban. Read, there's a regular series of articles at The Guardian, there's all sorts of there's websites dedicated specifically to, uh, to, this, uh, to the events in Durban. I'll send you some links, but please get busy. We really need to get busy. The other bad news is, of course, uh, that the International Union for the Conservation of Nature, which is a, a UN organization started by the UN, which, which uh, has all sorts of countries around the world uh, involved in it, uh, it's based in Paris, and uh, they've just issued their annual Red List of Threatened Species. Um, and even in Europe, which we think of as fairly progressive on environmental issues, um, it's showing, to quote the report, an alarming decline. Um, uh, they assessed a considerable portion of Europe's native fauna and flora, finding that a large proportion of mollusks, you know, everything from, from um, uh, mejillones uh, or in Espanol, uh, mussels, Freshwater fish and various kinds of plants now fall into the threatened category. They assessed 6,000 species and revealed that 44% of all freshwater mollusks, 37% of freshwater fish, 23% of amphibians, 20% of a selection of, of um, terrestrial mollusks, 19% of reptiles, 15% of mammals and of dragonflies, 13% of birds, 9% uh, of butterflies, and, and 467 species of vas vascular plant species are now under threat. Now, you know, you say, ah, oh, that's, well, that's the big deal, we lose a species. Sorry, gang, we're, we're interdependent, and we have to recognize that interdependence. We cannot, we cannot, continue to think that we can exist in isolation from other species, right? It's all a web. So take a look at that. Um, some minor good news, and that is that, I, as I mentioned a couple of, uh, this, about a month or so ago, um, the International Student Conference that we will sponsor in the spring has as its keynote speaker, uh, Polly Higgins, who is uh, the major force behind the initiative to create ecocide as a crime against peace and subject to the jurisdiction of the International Criminal Court. Polly Higgins is going to do the opening plenary talk at the conference, which will be held in Strasbourg, France, uh, starting on um, the 13th of April uh, and running through the 15th. So any of you who are going to be in Europe and are interested in that, please let me know and I'll tell you how you can apply. We'd love to have students from the Global Conversation involved in that conference. Um, the other thing to tell you is that, um, you know, in, out of our concern for how we think about our time on the planet, we were also creating a four-week intensive seminar, very limited number of students, in Kuseg, Hungary, at the Institute for Social and European Studies. Uh, it'll be 20 students maximum, uh, and it will be about critical thinking in the 21st century. Anybody who's interested in that as well, please let me know, uh, and I'll, I'll go through the process with you. Okay, uh, take a look as well at the last couple of sections in the course, uh, the course website. 
And one of the things that you'll see is uh, a video with Bill McKibben. Bill McKibben is one of the leading environmentalists in the world, and uh, this is a, a call to citizen action uh, against uh, climate change and other environmental issues. Start thinking about how you can get involved. This may be a good place to get some inspiration, okay? Uh, and I'll talk to you again soon. Thanks very much.